Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. I stumbled across uh, this nice little bit of information in the Pack Alert Press about FEMA and what it is, and I thought this would be a good wake-up call for some of you sheep that think FEMA is here to save you. Uh, okay, on with this. What is the Federal Emergency Management Agency? Simply put, it is a secret government. This agency has powers and authority that go well beyond any other agency in the nation. Now what can FEMA do? It can suspend laws, it can move entire populations, it can arrest and detain citizens without a warrant, and can hold them without a trial. It can seize property, food supplies, and transportation systems, and it can even suspend the Constitution of the United States. When the first concept had been presented, its original mission was to assure the survivability of the United States government in the event of a nuclear attack. Its secondary function was to be a federal coordinating body during times of domestic disasters. These disasters consisted of earthquakes, floods, and hurricanes. The secret black helicopters that are reported throughout the United States, mainly in West California, Washington, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and Colorado, areas are flown by FEMA personnel. It has been given the responsibility for many new national disasters such as forest fires, home heating emergencies, refugee situations, riots, and emergency planning for nuclear and toxic accident incidents. It works together with the 6th Army in the West. A series of executive orders was used to create FEMA it does not matter whether an executive order is constitutional or not, it becomes a law simply by being published in the Federal Registry. These orders go around Congress. There are over 800 prison camps in the United States, all fully f operational and r ready to receive prisoners. They are all staffed and even surrounded by full-time guards, but they are all empty. These camps are to be operated by FEMA, should martial law need to be implemented in the United States, and all it would take is a presidential signature on a proclamation and the Attorney General's signature on a warrant to which a list of names is attached. Ask yourself if you really want to be on Ashcroft's list. Now I'm going to link you to the post below because it's quite intensive and there's a bunch of executive orders that will wake you up to the fact. Um, but I want to reference the 800 FEMA camps. 800. 800 FEMA camps. Fully operational. Oh, but they're just there to save us. Bullshit. Obama has everything he needs right now for martial law. Between the Occupy movement and the natural disasters that he has claimed he's spread FEMA out uh, across this entire country. I saw last winter uh, FEMA responding to Massachusetts snowstorms. They got six inches of snow. Big fucking deal. I lived in New Hampshire and Massachusetts. I know what a winter there could be like. You could get 18 inches of snow. It's not an emergency. It sucks a little bit. Slows things down for a couple days. But there is no fucking emergency. Anything and everything that FEMA can justify, and of course when they're coming to your town and handing out money to rebuild and fix, everybody loves it. Just gives them another inch in the door, another foothold on another corner of the country. We're fucking surrounded right now. The country is surrounded by FEMA representatives. And you heard from the Post how much authority they have. Your local sheriff can't even do anything about FEMA. More power than an FBI agent. It's ridiculous. You're surrounded. And when I put out eight months ago or whatever it was that we would have martial law by the end of the coming summer, I was absolutely right. We, by executive order, are technically under martial law right now. And if it gets made any more official, well, then we just won't have an election this year, will we? Wake up, people. Obama's scrambling. He knows he's going to lose, but he also knows that he has everything he needs to stop the election. Time to start waking up, making preparations. Now, up until this point, I have not endorsed stockpiles of guns. 
but I think I'm changing my mind about that. It's become very clear to me that peaceful is not going to protect. They're running rampant. They're, they have control of everything. And this house of cards is about ready to fall. Now you're going to ask yourself, when it does fall, and there will be chaos in certain places, and there will be killings and, and thefts and, and just things you can't even imagine. But does that give anyone the right to contain you? To take your resources? Hell no. Now let me tell you something. If you come to my house and you're in need, I will help you. But if you come to my house thinking you're going to take me, my children, or anything that I've accumulated, you will end up wishing that I only knew how to shoot a gun. Enough said.